Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since I posted my last video. It's been like four weeks, but to make up for it, I have a great video for you today. And I've also brought along Core Beauty. Um, the reason it's a great video. That is one of the reasons. So we're actually gonna be taking a personality test from 16personalities.com. I think that's the website. We'll write it probably like right here. Um, sponsored. It is not, yeah, it is not <laughs> sponsored. The reason I'm telling you the name is so you can take the test yourself after this video. So we're gonna get our personality type. It's a Myers-Briggs test, so it's gonna give you like an INFP, like those letters. And that personality type, we're gonna look at a table and see what spe specialty that personality type is best suited for. Anything else to say before we start? No, just uh, make sure you unsubscribe from him after you realize how much of an evil, cold, disturbing heart he has. And make sure you subscribe to my channel after you realize how pure and beautiful my heart is. And yeah, keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to figure out like what type of specialties you would be in, like if you're going to be a doctor and you just want to, if you're curious, you can also do this and let us know down below in the comments what you ended up specializing in according to the site. Yeah, even if you're not going down like the medicine path, if you were to be a doctor, what kind of doctor would you be? I think that's a pretty interesting question. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. It turns out then I am an advocate, which is an INFJ, and they also gave me the hyphen A. So the strategy is confident individualism, and it is actually the rarest personality type. Rarest. Okay. I, mean, I can't say I'm surprised. So uh, a little bit about me. So I, I am introverted. I don't know, if, do you think people will know I'm introverted? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm actually, it says 75% introverted, so 25% extroverted. So I'm pretty, I'm more on the introverted side. You're more yeah. on the extroverted side, just barely. Intuitive nature, uh, people I think are going to be really surprised by this. I'm actually more feeling rather than thinking. So, um, and that's not... Barely though. 58%? That's not to say that I don't use my brain, because I do, for decisions and think, thinking and stuff, but I also use my heart. And because I have such a big heart, that exceeds my... Uh, or you just lied on a couple questions to make your I would numbers never do go that. up. I would never do that. You probably did. So tactics. So I'm way more judging rather than prospecting. So I'm like a planner. So I plan things out, which makes sense. I'm highly organized. Um, always keeping my room clean, unlike somebody here. Yeah, that's why you have comments on your one vlog saying, yo, dishes are it's nasty. Always, it's always <laughs> clean, they're just nitpicking. Okay. Um, <laughs> identity, I am more assertive, so that means I am resistant to stress, self-assured, and even-tempered. Um, but yeah, I mean, this sounds all good. Uh, INFJ, pretty cool personality type. So you think it's type. really accurate? Yeah, I mean, these are definitely accurate. As members of the diplomat role group, advocates have an inborn sense of idealism and morality. Advocates tend to see helping others as their purpose in life. Other advocates are Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa, and Alanis Morissette, and Jimmy Carter. <laughs> you are a protagonist, which is an ENFJ, hyphen T for turbulent. Yep. So you're extroverted as opposed to introverted for E. N, you're intuitive as opposed to an observant. You're more feeling than thinking, so you make decisions using your heart versus your mind. Aww. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? But the 82% is a lot. Um, tell me if you, when you take the test, if any of you are greater than 82% feeling. Judging versus prospecting, so how you make, um, how you plan, work, decision making, you're more, you're slightly more judging. So yeah. you're slightly more planning and stuff. Yeah. And of course, for the last thing, you are turbulent as opposed to assertive. 61%, I guess. Kind of out of whack here. I mean, I'm not. But just barely. Yeah. So full of passion and charisma, forming around 2% of the population, there oftentimes are politicians, our coaches, and our teachers reaching out and inspiring others to achieve and do good in the world. With a natural confidence that begets influence, ENFJs can take a great deal of pride and joy in guiding others to work together to improve themselves and their community. Anyway, let's see the juice. Oh no. Romantic relationships. 
Okay. ENFJs are attracted to crazy psychopaths, Shut just up. like themselves. Shut up. <laughs> uh, people who share the ENFJ personality type feel most at home when they're in a relationship. Whoa. Well, Interesting juice for the Corey Beauty fans. ENFJs take dating and relationships seriously, selecting partners with an eye towards the long haul rather than a more casual approach that might be expected from explorer personality types. ENFJ's natural partner is the INFP or the ISFP. <laughs> okay, if any of you are an INFP or an ISFP, let us know. So now we're gonna look at our specialty. <coughs> Sorry. So now we're gonna look at our specialty. <coughs> Sorry. So now we're gonna look at our specialty based on our personality type. So you are an ENFJ, I'm an INFJ. So based on those four letters, they tell you what specialty you're likely to go into in medicine. So like emergency medicine, um, internal medicine, radiology, whatever specialty. So where, where, where am I at? So you're INFJ. INFJ. So you're so, psychiatry. I'm actually shadowing psychiatry in like a week, so I'll see. It's <laughs> a possibility. It okay. sounds interesting. So internal medicine? Um, internal, I need to learn more about it, but I mean, um, from what I've seen, it seems to go be up my alley. Okay, thoracic surgery? No. <laughs> Just no? General surgery? Nope. Okay, and then pathology? Uh, pathology, you're looking under like microscopes and stuff all day. From what I've heard, I mean, you don't really see anyone doing that because yeah. it's like in some room, but. Not saying anything bad about pathology, but I just don't think that's for me. I actually want to see patients every day and like do the traditional doctor thing. From what I've gauged so far, it looks somewhat accurate, but it doesn't have like my top picks that I'm thinking of, which I will update you on in the future. If you're really interested in a specific stuff, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not listed there. Yes. Can you guess what specialty it is that I'm interested in? So mine would be thoracic surgery. What are you thinking? Not bad, but like, again, there's a lot of confounding variables with like how long school is, and you know what I mean? Yes. But yes. Uh, I haven't actually ever seen thoracic surgery. Mm -hmm. um, dermatology? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that fits pretty damn well. Interesting. So you're interested in derm? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a possibility. We'll see though. Um, psychiatry? So they give you psychiatry as well. Ophthalmology, um, how's that look? That looks really good. That sounds super good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I also have to like see how it is in med school. Yeah. And then okay. radiology, pretty solid. But, but like, you don't seem like the type to be in the back. Yeah, looking you at x-rays. You want to look at patients all day. Yeah. Not that like that's all they do. But yeah, like, they all did all like interventional yeah. radiology and all that. But, but it's just, I think this is mostly talking about the basics of radiology. Mm -hmm. But I'm so, surprised they didn't do internal medicine for me. Yeah. So I totally think that fits with my personality. Okay, so I think that wraps up the video. We figured out that both of us are actually pretty cool. I'm just slightly cooler. Subscribe to her channel yeah. if you relate to her. And that's about it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in my next video, which is hopefully not too long from now. Bye, Bye. guys.